Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my hip surgery and I didn't make an intro for this video, so here it is now. So, yeah. So your hip's supposed to go like this, but mine was crooked, so they had to move this part of my hip over like this. I have two screws here. So, after operation, I felt terrible. I didn't have energy, I just wanted to sleep. But I, after a couple of days, I started going to stand up and I was like, I'm dizzy. This is this weird feeling because I, I don't think anyone likes to be dizzy, but I was dizzy. And um, yeah, after uh, some days, I sat in a wheelchair and I got a step further. further. And then I trained a lot. Trained like I think like two days a week, something like that, or one. I don't remember, but I was like there for a week, and it wasn't fun. But I met a lot of doctors that was really nice to me, and they were like, yeah, just call in the thing, and we would get that for you or something like water or <laughs> something that I needed and then then I was happy when I got to take a shower again because being stuck in a bed you can't move anywhere you can't walk where you want to go you have someone just watching you all the time then that got annoying a little bit but I was off with my mom actually and she she works but she took break so we watch movies and stuff together and i love that having i think when you usually people are really like mom when you're sick or something and i have that just mom come <laughs> i need you like yeah i just felt like I need a mom but then I also have my aunt she was there for two days or something and that was nice too we relaxed obviously because I can't do it a lot but then then I started feeling better and then my friend came visit me and then we were on the roof to get some air because I was not outside a lot and then I w the day I went home it was crazy because when I, the day when I got home I my legs started to getting bigger and then that was the day after though but it started to get really big and I was like I was scared and I was like we have to go to the emergency because it can be something that's not good and then we went and it was not something to be afraid of but it, they said it was good to go to the emergency emergency and just to check it out in case um but it was good i'm fine and then i went home the day after so like it was a crazy day because i was like awake to like 5 a.m or something and then I went to bed and they're like the doctors came in and put it because I had to take the blood test the day after and I was like woke up and like have because I don't like like the part that it hurts when I need to get in but they had the cream on that I would so it wouldn't feel as much and I didn't even notice that they put it on me but I I was not happy when I got, got a needle here because in the emergency they don't take a cream on they just get the needle in and uh, that part hurt um, it hurt to the day after actually but I got some sleep I did and the day after it was like a chill day I was just I really wanted to go I was like kind of sad that I was there back again but I met the doctors again 
not the doctors that actually operated me but the nurses and they are really nice and um, yeah so um, I went this is like six weeks after operation I went to my doctors again and he said you can go without crutches you can start doing that I was happy but the most like weirdest feeling that I've had under this operation is when I took my stitches out i would never had stitches, stitches before and that was the first time and I was like it's gonna hurt to take them out well it, it pulled a little though but it wasn't like too bad actually but I was like never done that so like it's a weird feeling for everyone that hasn't done that but maybe I don't know it was a weird feeling but and then uh, now I walk without crutches and feeling better every day I train every day I go to physical therapy three times a day not a day a week not a day that would be tiring for me and for them probably because maybe I'm annoying I don't know but and uh, yeah I was I had a lot of ups and downs moments I had a lot of down when I got home from the hospital I saw my dog and I was like just started crying because I was like I can't pet you I can't hold you I can hug I can't hug you and and I started to do things more myself getting water doing my doing my food myself and stuff but I couldn't carry or push anything because something could happen or something I don't know but something so when so like everything is better now but they were also like we don't know if it's gonna help you or we don't know but it helped I think I think actually it did I feel like it did but yeah but in um, for this clip I'm gonna put maybe a picture or a video clip of what it's called though because I don't remember on the spot right now what it's called but yeah, I'm gonna put it up a clip yay <laughs> but now I well I used also I had like things on the crutches because it's winter and it's icy and stuff so I need need something under there or I would just slip and then fell and then probably have the operation again and that would not be fun but it's hard going through operation I think for everyone that is going through it because it is hard it is something that you hope you don't have to go through but there are some people actually also staying in the hospital over like holidays and stuff but yeah thank you guys for watching comment down below what you want to see in my next video and like and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out